Hey, my husband is vacuuming the above us, so you might have some strange ambient noise going on, but <laughs> it says watch this video first. That video just kind of goes over the command term of sketch, and that is over down here. This is a no this was from a no calculator portion of the exam. So you have to know how to sketch without a calculator, and when you sketch without a calculator, you need to label all asymptotes intercept and the graphs like if there's more than one graph on there and um, it doesn't have to be perfect you're just making a sketch of it you're doing your best um, so it says let f, of, let f of x equal log base 3 of x over 2 plus log base 3 of 16 minus log base 3 of 4 I'm trying to consolidate it all into a log base 3 of 2x so I can do that I'm going to take the x over 2 and multiply that by 16 first, then I'll combine it with the 4. So I've got log base 3 of 8x over 4, which reduces to log base 3 of 2x. Okay. And then I'm trying to find the value of f of 1 half and f of 4.5. This is without a calculator, so I'm going to change them into improper fractions. And then I now have f of 1 half is equal to log base 3 of 2 times 1 half, which is going to end up being log base 3 of 1, which is equal to 0. So f of 1 half equals 0. Then I've got f of 9 over 2, and that's going to be log base 3 of 2. 9 over 2 times 2 over 1. These cancel, and I get log base 3 of 3 squared, which is equal to 2. So now I have f of 9 over 2 equals 2. These are my two answers here. It says the function can also, there's the vacuum, the function can also be written in the form f of x equals the ln of ax over the ln of b. The b didn't print. Um, write down the value of a and b. Okay, so it looks like I'm trying to change from a log base 3 of 2x into an ln, which is really just a log base e, right? So I'm going to use my change of base formula. I've got the ln of, and then we have the old argument up top, and the base down below. So now I have a is 2, b is 3. Okay. It says, hence on graph paper, sketch the graph of f from negative 5 to 5. Okay, so that's really loud. Okay, so I have x and f of x. I want to see what's happening at negative 5. Um, do I have any points from up top here that I can check out? Oh, I have 1 half and 9 over 2. Okay, so I will do that. Okay, so, um, and then all the way up to 5. I can probably test out 0. Okay, so I've got, um, log base 3. Oh, I already have the outputs for 1 half and 9 over 2. Those are 0 and 2, respectively. All right, cool, so I've got log base three of negative five. Hey, wait a second, I don't need to find any negative numbers. It's gonna be undefined all the way up to zero. Cool, saves me some time. Log base three of zero, wait, he's also undefined there. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have a vertical asymptote all the way up until one half zero, which is where we cross the x axis. And then let's see what it looks like past that. Nine over two is the same thing as 4.5. So that's going to look like it's right in between here, and that is 2. And then at 5, what happens at 5? Let's see, log base 3 of 5. That's probably just a little bit more than... Okay, so the graph ends at 5 with like a hard point. It's including 5. Okay, so I shouldn't have arrows on the end. I am going to have arrows on the end for the asymptote, though. Okay, what is this called? F. Okay. Um, 
write down the value of the equation of the asymptote. Oh, x equals zero, and then my y and my x-intercept is one half zero. Okay, my sketch is complete. And then now, uh, I should probably write down the equation up here too, x equals zero. And then uh, write down the value of f, the inverse of f of zero. Okay, so um, I do know that one half has an output of zero, therefore if I switched those on the inverse, the inverse of zero would be one half. Cool. The point A lies on the graph of F. At A, X equals 4.5. Okay, so 4.5, that's this guy, this is A. Okay. On your diagram, sketch the graph of the inverse, noting clearly the image of point A. Okay, so the image of point A then, if A is 4.52, then the image of A is going to be 2, 4.5. Okay, good to know. Uh, let's flip this guy over the line y equals x. Come on, scooch down a little bit. This doesn't want to behave. Behave. Uh, okay, maybe it doesn't like to graph in rainbow pen. Fine. Then I will graph in a different color. <sighs> I'm sorry, this thing is being really glitchy. It won't let me draw a straight line. Please let me draw a straight line. This is the last time I am going to try. Okay, it's being a little temperamental. And now it's made two lines. This is supposed to just be one line. I don't know why it keeps being annoying. Okay, uh, so then the reflection is going to look like this. Um, I've got zero, one half. And then I've got a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero. And then we're also passing through the point 2, 4, 5. So 2 and then 4.5. And this is the image of A. Okay. Um, on your diagram, sketch the graph of the inverse. I did not label it. Uh, noting clearly the image of the point of A. I did it.